Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. If you're interested in skips and rubbish and anything to do with that, you are in the right place. And I had a real strange question off a kid. So we're going to do a video today about wind turbines because we've got really bad storms and these wind turbines are blowing down all over. I've spent the last couple of hours getting all the videos and we are going to look at some wind turbines setting on fire and blowing up in the UK. I have got another video for later in the week about a company that's changing plastic into jet fuel. Really good video. But before I start, somebody put a comment in the bottom saying, what do I use to make my videos? So I use the camera is a GoPro. I use a cheap mic like this. It's about 50 quid. And then I have a light, which does, which gives me some light from in front. Because when I do it from above, it just makes my full face a shadow because the lights are above us. I don't know if you can see. You can see the ring light in the in the thingy behind. I'm going to try and get some sort of screen to go behind there so I can have some advertising for my business, which would be nice. But anyway, let's have a look at some of these wind turbines that have been damaged from the recent storm. So looking at these videos of these wind turbines, the news has reported that most of the damage has been on the northwest coast, so up near Scotland, along that along that sort of corridor, Scotland, and then further forward up to the north. The fail is, just two seconds, I'm going to tell you how, how it works. So, so this wind turbine, the newspapers are reporting that it basically spun out of control. It went that fast. The motor inside, which creates electricity, basically span so much out of control, it disintegrated the inside of it and cooked it. And then on this part of the video, you can see the blades completely blow apart because it's going too fast at the end of the day. They're not aero, they're set for a certain aerodynamic speed and anything above that, they're, they're not aerodynamic at all and they will just blow to pieces. So have you ever wondered exactly how a wind turbine works? Well, I've got a video and I'm going to show you exactly how a wind turbine works. And this is very, very interesting. Definitely worth the watch. Took me a little while to find it, but it is, it is a great way to understand a wind turbine. So basically you have propeller, a drive shaft, a gearbox and a generator. Because the drive shaft coming out of the propeller is at the wrong speed, you have this small cog which actually speeds up the speed of the generator to create the electricity because they need a higher speed. This rotor spins inside what is, in essence, a drum of copper coils, which excites the electrons, creating electricity. This process works exactly as the alternator does on your car. This electric then travels down a cable in the center of the wind turbine and then goes to a transformer, which converts it to a higher voltage so it can travel a further distance. The power is then transported through high power voltage lines. It then goes into a transformer station where the electricity is stepped down and that step down makes the electricity usable within a home or a business, creating a circuit and that is how a wind turbine works. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's only a short one because I'm going to watch the darts and by the time this video comes out, we'll know if he's won or lost. Big news for the UK if the man wins. Anyway, I hope you had a great new year, a great Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.